Outback Power System FX3524 charging lithium ion phosphate. Check this out. These are the batteries. Uh, we've been talking about it. The Life PO4. And uh, if I talk band, let me give you back. That's the Life PO4 LFP. 3.2 volt, 25 amp hours. At 24 volt, you see what I set set up here because I set up the batteries to be in a 12 volt configuration, and I decided to um, have them in two strings here. So these are the positive side of this, and this is the negative side of this. The negative side of these and the positive right there so i can able to interconnect all the time due uh, due to uh charging the batteries today i decided to put the cross bus bars here so that makes it a complete series again so i series this battery together so it become one whole pack that that that's what i've already done and i series it because a 12 volt pack is right here all the way here and the 12 volt pack all the way here so just use a jumper right here that makes it a 24 volt so i want to leave it this way so i can able to have the flexibility anytime i want to do something at 12 24 volts i can able to do it but at this point i'm charging at 24 volt so if i decide to charge on a 12 volt then i can just charge each pack individually at 12 volt so this is what it is and the system is right here i showed you guys a few days ago and just wire it up and see how everything is gonna go from here like and subscribe and stay tuned for more to come live from this channel from jw solo usa command center in minnesota I love you guys all the system is coming up pretty good i gotta show you guys something quick well 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 that's a new box right here so, <laughs> I was having trouble opening it, the, the lever. It's kind of tough. I know it's a rubber seal, but I have to use a flat right here. I think I, <laughs> I snapped the, the, the notch that's supposed to hold it because I cannot open it at all. So, I used a screwdriver. Yeah, I did. I snapped it right here. Look at a little piece right here. It was so tight. The holes right there the piece right here and that's supposed to be right here I snapped it so this box is not qualified to be um, IP65 anymore because the thing was glued I think that's a glue right here right here I think something wet if you look at it and if you can pick it up from the camera see that right there so it glues this thing, I can't able to open it up at all. So I have to use this flat and prime the door and I snapped it. So now it's no more rated for IP65 or something because it's already broken. So guys, this is what is happening here. These breakers can able to bring three strings of 32 volt and they can go up to 400 amps or okay we can go all the way to 1000 volts DC see that so and go for three strings so this is the box I just wrecked it and this is got some knockouts here and able to put my what a seal thing. But now I have to keep this box only inside. If I was going to use it for solar ray, can't put it outside anymore because the water is going to come in. Side is breakers, which is not good. So right now, this is how the system looks like. And you heard the fan was running really high, cooling itself down and while charging the batteries. So... It doesn't come on unless um, the uh, some components inside this guy here is already uh, really warm. 
Well, this cover suppose is gonna be right here, but I screw um, this cover down because I don't want anything um, touching or fall into the terminals and end up um, arcing the system. So due to that, um, I'm gonna put back that cover and this is uh, how it looks like. And it seems like the charging light, you see the amber color is already turned off. Um, about to program that, but I think I have to use the recent one, the May 3. Um, I cannot get into more of the program on that. I don't know if the cable I got for it, and um, maybe it's not the actual Outback one, but I got a bunch of cables. I just grab an Ethernet cable, so I might probably have to look for the original Outback Ethernet cable. For me to um, plug into this guy right here okay so i think the charge and default charge default settings uh probably already indicated that um the battery's already charged yes yeah, the battery again and thanks for watching gw solar usa like and subscribe stay tuned for more to come as we add more components